Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Amongst Outs. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mama for kiddos, and in today's video, I am bringing you along as I clean up and organize my homeschool room. Um, I do have a full homeschool tour here on my channel from last year. Um, I will go ahead and link that for you guys. It will be in the description, and I will do one of those little cards um, up at the top. Basically nothing changed. The only difference in here is we kind of scooted the couch over, added a rug, and put my son's um, table over there on the other side. I wanted the couch to be closer to the bookshelves rather than right in front of the TV so that it was a cozy um, reading space and workspace. But everything else for the most part is the exact same. We didn't add any new or different decorations. I didn't add any new furniture or anything like that. Um, that is the only difference. I didn't see the need or the necessity in filming and uploading a whole new updated room tour for you guys if it's basically all the same except for that little shifting. Um, so as you saw, I do have pillows all over the place. I, My son and I just laundered all of the um, covers, so for the pillows and for the whole couch yesterday so i'm putting those back on today and then i'm just starting to get things sorted out so that i can go ahead and get my uh, kiddos curriculum um stored away and organized and get our bookshelves organized and things like that i have actually already did a full clean out so you guys won't see that here in this video i did that uh i want to say a week and a half or so ago um where i cleaned out all of our bookshelves um cleaned out my son's my two-year-old's toy bin that's here in front of the window I cleaned out our, well, my kids and I cleaned out um, our caddy, their desk, our closet. Our closet is much better organized than it was last year. I also kicked out a lot of my husband's stuff from inside that closet so we had more room. Um, so it basically has a lot of our homeschool stuff, some storage stuff, and um, all of our board games. So what I'm going to be doing in this video, like I said, just watch me go ahead and start put, putting the couch back together and getting things um, organized and ready to go for our new school year. Um, we start school on the 23rd, which is next week. We still have the rest of the week to go. Um, today is Tuesday, Monday. Today is uh, Monday, <laughs> August 16th. So we are a full week away from our new um, school year. So I am just trucking along, getting things done. I did do a deep clean of, um, like I said, the homeschool room already. I deep cleaned our master bedroom, master bathroom. And each day this week, I am going to be deep cleaning a different part of the house just so that we can start fresh and new and things like that. So let's go ahead and get into getting this room put together. Um, I will stop talking and we will go ahead and get started. Okay, couch is done. Um, that couch has definitely seen better days, especially that couch cover. Um, it's one of those IKEA couches. Um, I forget the name of what it is, but it was really popular a few years ago. We've had that couch for like six, seven years now, maybe going on, I don't know. It's been a long time. <laughs> we got it. Um, anyways, it desperately, desperately needs a new couch cover. Um, the one that we have on there, I love that it comes off and it's washable, but there's so many marks and stains on there that are just n not even bleachable at this point. They've turned colors, but they've never come out. Um, even though something says washable, they don't always come out of your couches. 
um because that's mostly the stains that we have on there my kids at different ages have all just kind of colored on it but it's not that big of a deal it's their couch up here to keep them cozy when they're reading um every now and then they'll come up here and play games together or watch a movie together or something and so i'm not too worried about it it can be washed that's fine but eventually i do want to get a new one a darker color so that um when my kids write or draw on it it's not as noticeable either way i will show you guys I have um, I have already done some cleaning out, so their bins are all cleaned out. Um, this little one just has her wrap-ups in there, and then they all have them on their desks already. And there's my son's. So I'm just gonna start pulling out their curriculum from the storage closet, and then start loading it up into their bins and um, bring you guys along for the ride. So here we go. So I'm also going to go ahead and I have that basket in there and that's all of our new um, school supplies and here's our caddy. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of that stuff out and put it on my desk so they can also organize that too. Um, setting things out in different spots of like um, just helps me keep things organized and know exactly what I need to do and be able to get to it all within a fairly quick time frame. I have um, full curriculum um, videos for each one of my kiddos so I'm going to bring you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and load up their containers and their desk with their curriculum if you guys want to see exactly everything that they have that we're using this year um, you will see in my description the um, the link for each one of their curriculum videos for each grade level. I have a, uh, my seven year old going into second grade, my nine year old going into fourth, and then my eleven year old is going into sixth, and then my little guy he'll be three um, in just a few weeks in September, and he we're just going to be doing a little bit of preschool, taught school, hands on stuff with him and I have videos for every single one of them. The only thing is I don't have one of these containers for my youngest because he wasn't doing school last year and that's when I got them. I really should go and get him one, but I'll show you guys how I'm gonna organize his stuff for now. Um, just in case I don't make it out to Michael's because I just don't feel like it, it's not super convenient to me. Um, but if I do make it out there, you guys will probably see me using that in a video at some point. So let's go ahead and get into filling up my seven-year-old's bucket. So this here is going to hold their main curriculum. And then I do have these containers here, which will hold all of the books and readers and things like that that they can um, read throughout the year. So she has like some of these buddy readers, lots of Bob books. She has um, an adventure girls like activity book in here, which I actually might move this to the art and STEM cart. And then um, right now she has her reader for all about reading. And then as I fill up, you guys will see what else we put in here. But these are the two buckets that we're filling up today. Her reading bucket and then her curriculum bucket. But I'm going to start by just putting her, um, I'll show you guys inside the desk. All we have inside the desk is their crayon box. So they have their 
pencils and their colored pencils in here. And then we have a pencil tray. Um, we might put a pair of scissors in here for them, but there's two pencils for now and a dry erase marker for like busy binders and things like that. Um, so that's what she has in there. And so now I'm just going to add in her math box from The Good and the Beautiful in there. And um, let's see. I think for now that's all I'll put in there. And then her mask will go into here. I got her this um, beginner box set books from The Good and the Beautiful. She does have the books in here. Um, these are from the sets A and B. She has these in here with her Bob books already. And so she's gotten through both A and B, so we are on to C. And as she gets through these, we'll go ahead and purchase D as well, but we don't have it yet. These books have been so good. I love these just as much as I love the Bob books. Go ahead and put that in this bucket. And then as well as her reader. Then her language arts. Um, so this is going to actually go back in my storage because this is like our backup if she doesn't if this doesn't work out well then we'll just go back to using um, language lessons for living education okay so this is my teacher's manual so I'm going to leave that out but her book will go into here um, her, her more than words I'm going to leave out because it's going to stay downstairs and handwriting will go in here geography science and her um, explode the code and spelling. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put her math you see in here. She did math you see last year. We're kind of giving the the good and the beautiful a try this year for math, but we're gonna. This is a mastery based approach, while the the good and the beautiful is a spiral approach. So we're just gonna keep on trucking along with both. Um, we did two math last year as well. And I don't think this is going to fit in here this year. So no. So this year her little compartment thing isn't going to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and throw her um, wrap ups in her desk. All right, so I'm going to put this in the closet. So I'm going to put her instructional DVD into her desk as well we can watch this on the TV or on the laptop together and so that we don't use, lose it it's easier if it's just in her desk okay so I don't use the lesson test I used like a couple of them last year and then I just never touched again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and store both of these in the closet along with this. Then we'll take this over to the bookshelf and then get started on my other daughters. Okay, so inside of her desk, it's kind of the same thing. She has um, these Moby blocks in here, um, her pencil or her color case, and then her um, pen, pencil, and scissors. And then she also has um, a ruler. Okay, so in her bookcase already, she has um, this Created Critters with Wings along with an enrichment packet. She also has, and again, these these two anyways i'm considering as read alouds but they're in her bin just in case i don't get to them um the first one's mara daughter of the nile and then we have the golden goblet and so then she also has um mystery of the roman ransom and then we're going to add sea turtle swims the ocean sunshine rose the story of a shetland pony detectives in togas and Tales from the Odyssey, part one and part two. And then we're going to put her level three reader in there and her um, poetry book, I Sat by the Sea, because she's also doing The Good and the Beautiful this year. And that's all that she's going to have in her um, book container here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the bookshelf. 
uh, so the other thing I'm adding to their containers, I need to put this in my daughter or their desk, are these clipboards. And this is just in case we um, take work on the go. They already know where their clipboards are and they can just grab it out of here and take it with us. Um, also, if I choose to pull work out here at home and they want to work somewhere else, they have a hard surface at all times. So I put one in her desk and one in my other daughter's desk. Um, so in her student book, she's got the ancient-based writing. Um, her more than words is going to stay out as well. We have her math for Simply Good and Beautiful, along with the mental math, and this will stay out with me. And um, we have her geography, handwriting, wordly wise and her um, The Good and the Beautiful Language Arts. And then again, she also has a math lesson, or she also has a language lessons for living education, which I'm just going to store in the closet. Um, this is a backup just in case she needs it. Um, if my kids, if my girls end up not using this and they really do enjoy The Good and the Beautiful and it works and we continue on with it next year, I will just um, probably donate this to, um, our CC community um, donation bin and someone can take it from there. And that's always a really good place to take extra curriculum that you're not using because then another family can go ahead and take it. Well, that worked out nicely. So I'm just going to um, leave hers in here and probably the same thing for my son since it fits. My daughter, because she has that activity box in her desk, the seven-year-old, it's not gonna fit in hers. So I'm not even gonna try. Okay, so onto my son. I'm going to see if I can put stuff um, in here for him. So like he's got a scrunch map too. This is a world map. He's got sticker charts and bookmarks. So it's a perfect spot for all that. He gives it a home in his desk. So I'm going to put his math in his container. his clipboard in his desk and so like this is his pencil he's got a glue stick in there a couple pencils and this is where he keeps all of his um, colored pencils and crayons Put that up set some of this to side that I don't need quite yet um, I'm gonna put his actually I need to put his math in, I'm gonna put his um, spelling you see Okay, so I was taking out all of the teacher's guides for his um, book study, so I'm gonna put these back in my desk. And inside of his container, I'm gonna go ahead and add his ancient history-based writing lessons. Um, More Than Words goes downstairs. His handwriting will go in here. His geography, wordly-wise, and he is sticking to um, language lessons for living education. And then this is the um, Bible that they use for um, the language lessons for living education. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there as well. And then um, I'm only going to put one of his novel studies in there. So I'm going to ask him which book he wants to do first. And then that's going to be the study that I put in there rather than keeping them all in there. And kind of like it'll be really it'll weigh on him and his mind will kind of perseverate on all of the novel studies if I have all of them in there. So I'm just gonna leave one in, but first I'm gonna ask him which one he wants to do first. All right, so I just got his input and we're going to start off with Robin Hood. And so then I will just go ahead and store the rest of these in the closet. Let's go ahead and close this up. And with these containers, they stay on my kid's desk at all times. Um, these are the only things that are allowed on their desk and all of their curriculum has to be in here and they have to close them up at the end of the day. So, like I'm a little bit particular, so they have to stay on their desk on the left side. My kids are used to it at this point and that's just like one of my things that I have. So anyways, in his um, book container, he has the bronze bow, King Arthur, and these are most of the novel studies. And then he's also got Great Battle for Boys, and then here's his The Door in the Wall, Robin Hood, and The Four Corners, 
And then I'm also going to add in there um, Rocket Genius and Louis Pasteur. And these are just all of the books that he's starting off with. Like I said, some of them are no novel studies, some of them are just readers. And then um, I wanted them to have these containers for exact to, to know exactly what they have to read. And then um, we'll add some fun books in there that they choose that they want to read. And we'll rotate those want to reads from the bookshelf into the container. And once those are read, they'll put them back on the bookshelf. And um, just to try and keep better track of our books and the cleanliness and tidiness, tidiness of our bookshelves. So um, I took out of his, he had his um, daily truth for kids and his A Boy After God's Own Heart in there. Uh, he is finished with this one, but not this one yet. So this is going to go downstairs for his um, Bible time. All right, so this is done. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on the bookshelf and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so we have a little bit better of organization compared to what you guys will see if you go and watch my um, homeschool room tour. A lot of this wasn't books last year, so now they're, these two are all filled, or this one's completely filled with books, and then these two are all books, and this is um, extra curriculum and uh, manuals, things that we ended up not doing, um, have plans on doing, like have plans on going back to this. These are um, teacher's manuals, and I should probably donate these three things. And I'm debating on using um, these with my seven-year-old. I haven't quite decided yet. I tried to do it with all of my kids when we very first started homeschooling, and it was just my older two didn't enjoy it, and so then I just kind of assumed that none of my kids did. But I think my youngest would actually enjoy that. So I may go back and do my story one this year and my story two next year. And we also have America's Story but um i got it a little bit too late to do last year which was american history with cc um so maybe when we go back to cycle three again my uh youngest daughter she'll be old enough and maybe she'll go through this america story so i don't know didn't touch these either over here is where i have their containers so you can see the first three and then my youngest son's is over here. Um, I just have a couple of his books that he's gotten from like his um, KiwiCo boxes and that's it. But all the rest of his stuff is right here and I'm gonna, going to go ahead and get that um, all prepped and prepared and figure out where it's all going next. <sighs> okay, next up is my little guy. Um, like I said, I need a container for him but we just emptied out some of his old these are from when he was a baby some of his little foxy bins i'm going to use these and then just store them on the shelves in the homeschool closet so that he can't get to them until i get something that closes and even then he's really quick about opening things and um, figuring them out so i might just keep the stuff in here honestly um so i'm gonna try to separate them out between like hands-on and um, then his preschool storage so this is a book that I got specifically for him. It is a Usborne Jungle picture book. Um, I don't think that this will, I'm going to put it in here for now, um, in there. So I'm just going to put that in his book container. And then I have um, Poetry Parties, and it's Poetry Parties for Littles, Insects, and Spiders. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in his container. And then I also have um, a Beatles flip book butterflies flip book and insect spider or insect and spider mazes here that he can do with the dry erase i'll put those in there i don't know if these will stay in there um but they'll go in there for now and then the, uh, like i already mentioned these other books that are in here these are just from his um kiwi coast and then these are like these really cool undestructible i think they're called undestructible or in indestructible I'm going to also put in his cards. These are from um, September & Co. So he has the character cards with characters. <laughs> and then he also has the manor cards. So they have these cards for littles and for older kiddos. And I do have the um, set for the older kids that's going to go in our morning basket. But these are his. And so I'm going to also put these here just so that I can remember to do them. Oh, he had one more indestructible okay so now let's go ahead and start doing his um activity bin so i'm going to put his 
plus plus and mattes in one along with his um rainbow pebbles and his busy bag i did a video all about everything that i have here um, i have a couple videos but this is his busy bag i love these kinds of things so i'm gonna put that in there and then we have um these little activity books i have two of these let's cut papers and then a um, little children's drawing book and then i'm gonna put this in there so this is kind of all of his like super hands-on um stuff i guess i'll also add this in there this is his doodles pre doodles and pre-writing for littles um i'll go ahead and add this in there too and then i need to open this up and I'm gonna put this in there as well. This is the My Preschool Busy Book. Again, super cool, and I love that it comes completely already prepared and ready for you to use. I'll throw that in there as well. So that is all ready for his hands-on stuff. Uh, his dry erase markers I'll put in there. And then in this second bin here, I had been trying to figure out where I was going to put all of his preschool stuff so here's his preschool um, morning binder I will put in there um, this one has his uh, there's the gentle and classical preschool guide I will put this in there and then these are his alphabet and number cards and shapes and colors yes okay and so all of his um, preschool bags I'm still waiting on his book I'm gonna put these in here as well and um, I was just looking. So this has Leonardo da Vinci and Vincent Van Gogh. Um, this is another book that I got at Costco. So I'm actually going to use this one instead of this one. And probably, I think we're doing Vincent Van Gogh this year in CC. So this is one that I can go through with my older kids. So this is another artist book that I have. And I'll check to see who's in this one. Ooh, actually, this one has Leonardo da Vinci. Um, it has Vincent Van Gogh and Henry Matisse. And then, so yeah, this is actually perfect because it has all three of those artists. So I'm going to use the two of these. I'll do the Leonardo da Vinci and, and Vincent Van Gogh in both of these. And then I can also do the um, Henry Matisse in that one. So yay for saving money and not having to buy more books. Really super excited about that. Again, with his preschool. Um, we're not doing all parts of it this year, so um, I don't even know if in this, in the part that we're doing, we're going to be doing all of the artist stuff. So, but just in case, I have those in there. Um, don't know if we'll get to them or not, but it's nice to have. So that is all for him. I'm going to go ahead and put his container back up there, and um, I will get these put away in the closet. I wanted to show you guys um, also in my closet for him. He does have these geo boards that we can pull out. Um, I want to get a container to put these in also so that he has easier access to getting these out. So I also noticed, I did notice that these are not going to fit on the shelf if I keep them this way. So I'm going to have to unbox them. Okay, so this is nice. I'm glad I opened this. There's um, another little manual here of things that he can make. Should open this sooner. I'll put those with his building cards. And then, here's one. I'm not gonna take these out of the bag yet. I do need a better bag or better container because this isn't resealable like the pebbles were. Um, but this works for now. So now I can store this in the closet. Okay, so everything fit in there perfectly now. I'll go ahead and show you guys really quickly what our closet looks like. So here is what it is. It's not um, super organized by any means, but it is so much better than it once was. I promise you guys, it used to be so bad with all of my husband's extra stuff. And like you can see, he still has some stuff up here. Um, but these are just extra containers and um, we have some extra gaming stuff in there. Here's where I have my son's um, sensory bins so that we can rotate through the four, but without him just being able to get them and going through them. These are um, doodle crates that my daughter has to finish. And then these are all of their games and things. And then there's just some extra storage stuff there. And um, this is finished curriculum. 
they have some uh, coloring books here more coloring books down there extra large paper this is our art and stem cart this is storage dry erase boards and then that's where i have all my extra school supplies um i still need to do my little guy's schedule and put it in there and then there's his bins and his geo boards so that's all there and then this is their room all of their book containers are on the bookshelf there and then they each have their um curriculum containers on their desk and then i went ahead and set out all of their homeschool binders um but i still need to print out um all of the things that go in there and so which is like their reading logs or chores their book reports i need to get all of that stuff printed out so that they have easy access to everything in their homeschool binders and that's all that we have and the couch is done <laughs> and put back together okay so the last thing that i have to do is um i have all of these binders so i have our arthropods binder which this is going to be going back downstairs because that's where we will do science um i have the mammals binder which i'm going to go ahead and store in our closet so i went ahead and stored that so it's it's all ready to go stored away so we can just pull it out when we need it i have my seven year old flashcards, which i'm just going to put these um, in the closet as well on a shelf where my two-year-old or yeah where my two-year-old can't get to them i have all of their schedules and then um, I have my older kiddos. Um, these are each of their essentials binders. So I'm going to just set these on there. Um, this is going to go on the bookshelf so that whenever it's time for us to go to CC on Fridays, they can just put, grab these, put them in their backpack, and head out the door. Um, this is my morning time binder for all of my um, the first six weeks of all of um, our foundation CC stuff. So this will go back downstairs. And then last but not least, these will go on the bookshelf as well. And these are um, some busy binders that I put together for each one of my daughters. And that empties out this last box of things that I need to put away. So let me go ahead and get that done. Okay guys, I am all done with putting all of their curriculum away, all of our binders, all of our books, all of our readers, all of our um homeschool supplies everything is officially done and i feel like if i needed to start school tomorrow i could do it <laughs> um wait maybe not because i do still need to do their homeschool binders um but once that's done because as soon as i am off this camera and i'm done up here i'm gonna go right to my computer and start typing up their new chore charts getting their book reports printed their reading logs printed and um, I'm gonna take those binders downstairs and get those put together as soon as possible so that everything up here is 100% done. I am so excited and so ready for the new school year. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have already started your school year and how it's going. And if you haven't started yet, let me know when you are starting and just how excited you are. I hope that you guys enjoyed doing some storage and organization with me for our homeschool year. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love to have you here as a part of my community and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.